Okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow is a uh, capture utility for the Macintosh that captures your full screen and then of course you can edit it and uh, trim out portions of what you uh, don't want. You can add uh, titles, you can stitch together uh, videos and things of this nature. So it's a pretty powerful tool. Uh, what I always suggest to anybody that's working with this is, is get everything set up. So I'm going to record a video off of YouTube. So I'll start up my web browser. And you'll notice I've started up my web browser over here on the right hand side. I'm going to add a second window because oftentimes what I will do personally is if it's a real long video, let's say it's 90 minutes or an hour, if it's that long, I will record while I am editing or doing other things on the web. Uh, or you can do anything you want to over in the left hand pane. So uh, I'm going to add another window and then move it over. Place the two windows to where they slightly overlap. I can also squeeze that other window to where it's just a little bit smaller. And what I'll do is I'll record my screen flow over here. I'm going to go ahead and bring up YouTube. And off of YouTube, I'm going to go ahead and bring up uh, some videos for, of my own from the Krabby Mac. And I'll find a video that's fairly short here to make it quick. Okay, I'll bring up copyrighted video. Now the downside of this is recording immediately. There's a little problem there. Uh, if I'm not ready to record, then uh, I'm not going to capture everything. Uh, the other thing that's good about stopping a recording like this is, or, or a video that's playing is let it buffer itself in here and let it load, preload itself a little bit. It'll cut down on skipping and, uh, and, and things of that nature. So I've got that set in there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to capture it. The first time that you work with ScreenFlow uh, for each session, you'll start ScreenFlow, and then you've got a hotkey to turn it on and, on and off. So I'm going to click on ScreenFlow and bring it up. You have options for recording from your built-in iSight camera. You have also have an option for recording from your built-in microphone. And you can record the computer audio. In this case, I'm recording the computer audio along with this little the area that I'm going to eventually capture in the video. So I'll go ahead and start it by clicking on the little red button there. And wait for it to count down. And once you hit 1 and it goes off screen, you are now recording. So I'll click on my play button. And here we go. It's playing my video. And so I'm recording away. It's not too much of a problem. I can record my entire video all the way through and then capture it if I so desire. The beauty of, the, of that is that it saves time and effort. We're saving a lot of time by having everything ready as possible. You're cutting down on your editing. You're cutting down on what you have to do that's excess. Now, the video will stop. Once it stops, I usually let it play go for a few more seconds. Now, ScreenFlow is still running in the background, if you notice down here. So it's still running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to ScreenFlow. I can, shut, I, you know, I can uh, click on that all I want, but the idea here is to stop it recording. Command-Shift-2. That's your hotkey for ScreenFlow. It brings it up, and usually what I'll do is I'll resize my audio track. Go in the lower left-hand corner, click on the little magnify the slider on the magnifying glass, and make it smaller. Then I'll come up here with the scrubber bar, and I will find out where I stopped. There, okay, here's where I stopped. Obviously, I'm going to come back just a little bit, and right there is where I ended. Okay, so I can stop it right there. There's where I want to trim it to do my first edit. So uh, with that scrubber bar set where it's at, I go up to the Edit menu. I mark an endpoint, and then I go back to the edit menu and I cut. And what it'll do is chop off that excess video. So that extra video is now gone. It's out of the way. And what I also want to do is resize my canvas size because unless I want to capture this entire screen, I need to do something like that. So I'll resize the canvas, click on the lower left hand corner on this a little resize canvas button, drag it in. And in this case, I'm going to leave a little bit of a margin on each side. Once I've got it where I want it, then I click on Apply. I can trim it if I need to again, but it looks like it's pretty good. I'll go to the File menu. 
save and save as, save it as a ScreenFlow document. I'm not going to do that. I want to save it as a QuickTime movie. So I select export. And I want it, instead of 50%, I want it a full 100% sizing. And I, instead of ScreenFlow.mov, uh, I'm going to name this copywriting, which is what this... Um, that helps if I write copywriting correctly. Uh, copywriting, which is what this movie is about. Click on export, and you'll see a status bar coming across as it uh, captures uh, this and records it as a QuickTime movie. It converts it from ScreenFlow's format to QuickTime. Um, you also have some editing tools built into, QuickTime, into uh, ScreenFlow that really make it nice for editing things and tweaking some things on the fly. Now, I'm going to close out the ScreenFlow window, but I'm going to leave the application running. The reason is, if I don't close this out, it will ask me, after I record any other videos, if I want to add them to this existing video. So you can splice a video, you can capture several clips and group them together. That's one of the beauties of ScreenFlow. I'm going to go ahead and close that out, and I'm not going to save it because I've already saved my QuickTime movie. I'm going to go here on... YouTube and I'm going to find another video real quick and I'll probably use my work my wind turbine one let me shut that off and again set up your video before you record since ScreenFlow is already running down here all I have to do is hit command shift 2 and it gives me my countdown and once my countdown is complete I am live I will now click on start and I'll record this video uh, you know, all the way through, and then of course I would have the entire video read, ready and available uh, for any other edits that I wish. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording because I, I've decided I'm done with it for now. And uh, uh, so to stop screen flow, Command Shift Two. Remember that's your hotkey to start and stop it. Again, I'm going to do a quick edit. I'm going to squeeze down my timeline for my audio. Take my scrubber bar out there to find out where I stopped. Back it up until I get to the right location. You just kind of have to watch the screen. And once it gets where you want, there's where I ended. So that's where I'm going to stop. Click on Edit. Mark an endpoint. Edit. Cut. So I trim off the excess. Again, remember, anything that you add as far as extra space on the screen or anything that you add as far as extra time takes up more hard drive space. And your viewers may be a little bit bored, too. So I'll resize the canvas, click, drag it in. And this time I'm going to trim it right down to the, uh, the center of that, which is the active portion of that screen. And I'll get it exactly on the number. Need to probably trim it up a little bit on the bottom. Got it. Apply. And so now I go to File, Export. Again, 100% is what I like. And this one is renewable energy, so I'll type in renewable energy. And click on Export. And so it shows the progress bar going across and shows that I'm saving it and now my save is complete I will shut down screen flow click on the menu quit screen flow I'm not going to worry about saving it because I saved my QuickTime movie Firefox I'm going to go ahead and close it out because I'm done with it and you'll notice now on my desktop I have two movies and so what I'm going to do is just to show you that it does work I'm going to open up uh, uh, one of the movies and play just a very short excerpt out of it. And so it's playing away. So I captured the entire video and without a whole lot of work. And the same thing applies to the other one. I uh, hope this little uh, video tutorial on screen flow helped you get some basic ideas of how it works. Um, if you have any troubles with computers or need any, any other computer assistance or help, uh, come to my website on KrabbyMac.com, and I hope you have a great day.